IT is really some place is keep constantly improving. Okay. And if you don't improve yourself, like industry, you can be stuck also. Like, have you ever seen any company, any application like Amazon, you know, like the eBay, they don't update themselves. Whenever you use the application, you always see Amazon.com is the same Amazon.com. No, you know, if they don't update this application in two weeks, three weeks, you know, even right now, the time, time is getting less and less, you know, some application is developing, you know, like updating in a daily basis, right? And they know why they do this one, because if they don't do this one, they will just be gone from the market. Some other application is going to come and replace them. So basically, they need to update themselves. So the question is right now, if the application, if the company is updating this themselves, how about the people? People need to update themselves as well. They need to learn new tools. Okay, They need to adapt, adapt themselves with the new technologies. Otherwise, you know, in the company, sometimes you can just say, you can see yourself way behind than other, you know, like the other people, other developer, other estate people, everyone. For example, you know, I mentioned to you, I was a student, right? In 2016, I joined the side view. At that time, we, we learned VB script and some tool called UFT. Right now, nobody's talking about this programming languages and this tool in the market anymore. And this has happened just five years ago. You know, in five years, basically, one programming languages and one tool totally is disappeared from the market. If I didn't improve myself, if I didn't learn Java, if I didn't learn the other new current tools right now, think about my career, what I'm doing right now, right? Probably I will be maybe like gone as well, you know? Because the companies, you know, the company is always encouraging the, their employee to learn the new things. They are not like, you are not learning new things, also, I don't want to work with you. No, they are not like that. They encourage the people. But you should show encouragement also in yourself to learn. So the first thing is basically you need to update yourself. Definitely you need to update yourself. But of course, like this update is estate to developer, estate to something else, estate to something else. It totally depends on the person. But estate to Java developer, there are a couple of more reasons. Okay? What is the one of the reasons? Is usually estate and developer... Even though we call them as a different career path, even though different career path, they work in the same environment. They work in the same thing. So basically right now you might be a state, I might be a developer. We're going to work in the same way, basically same thing. Basically every day we're going to sit on the same table, we're going to discuss our application. So they're very closely working people, right? So basically as an estate, if you're a developer, if I'm estate, I'm testing the code you wrote it. All right. So that is how it works. So, but right now, what's happening basically in the companies? Okay, people need to understand this one. These two different career paths, it is getting to combine together. That is the trend right now. So basically, right now there is very famous uh, term in the IT, cross-functional. Cross-functional meaning is you're not saying anymore, hey, I'm estate. You know, you are developer. You do whatever you do. I don't want to say. Or as a developer, you don't say, hey, you are estate, I can just develop my code, and I don't want to see what you do. That is not the way anymore, okay? Trend is becoming more cross-functional, meaning estate people as well right now should get into developer code. They should at least have understanding what developer did over there, all right? And then do something also. Maybe take some tasks from the developer. This is the company's and general company's approach. What is the importance of this? One is job security, all right? Because again, like if the trend is going to more cross-functional, basically right now, if company is expecting asset people should be able to touch a little bit the developer responsibilities as well, you need to learn the developer concept as well. And if you don't say, or if you say, oh, you know what, I don't know anything about the development, I cannot take any responsibility, or I cannot talk to same language with the developer, because you don't know the technology they are using, you don't know what they are doing, right? So that is kind of like creating a little bit risk for you in the companies, all right? So first thing is job security, all right? I can definitely say as an asset, if you want to secure your job for features, definitely you need to start learning development. If you want to stay in the field,